guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching Friday the 13th on Friday the 13th. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into another movie for the Natmare season, and that is Friday the 13th, another movie that is kind of insane that I haven't seen at this point, considering how much characters like Jason are referenced every spooky season. We watched Scream this year recently. That was my first time seeing the movie Scream, and uh, there were references to Friday the 13th in that movie, and I had not seen it, so um, I did try to sing over it and didn't really register what was being said, but yeah, I do feel like this movie gets referenced all the time, especially in comedies, like horror comedies, or just in pop culture references. So I am excited to watch this just so I can like not be afraid of spoilers. Although I can't really imagine there's much to be spoiled about this movie. I feel like, you know, I know the general premise, it's a murderer going to like kill a bunch of camp counselors on a lake. I think he, I think he uses a chainsaw. I know his name is Jason. So that's, that's all I know. I can't imagine that there's more to it than that, but maybe there's a twist that I don't know about. So I'm excited to get on this one with you guys today. And I'm also excited because I am releasing this on October 13th, a Friday. What a little quinky dink. I actually decided to watch this movie because there was a Friday the 13th this year. I felt like I wasn't sure if this movie was going to win a poll, but I felt like it was kind of important that I watch it no matter what. So this is actually a surprise movie that I just threw in myself for this nightmare season. I did not include it in a poll over on Patreon. I just was like, you know what? The calendar has spoken and uh, we're just going to do it. And I'm still, you know, watching a lot of other stuff for this nightmare season so far. I'm releasing this before I'm releasing an actual scary movie reaction because I kind of have a feeling this is going to be more campy than super scary. Scream was definitely more satirical and campy and fun. I'm not, well, campy. Is can't be the right word for scream. Definitely satirical and meta. And then, you know, Halloween was a little bit stylized and a little bit over the top as well and not necessarily super, super scary. I did watch a movie recently that actually messed me up and that was actually really scary. So that is coming for you guys soon. It's actually already released over on my Patreon. So if you do want to see that kind of stuff, you want to get earlier access to content as well as watch that content along with me and vote in polls to help me decide what I watch next, you might want to check out my Patreon. It's always linked in the description bar below. I'll also give a little plug for my other channel, Natty Gold. I've been live streaming over there doing gameplay stuff. I definitely, um, I did do one horror game at the time of me filming this already over on a live stream and I do plan on doing more this Halloween season. I don't I don't know how many I'll do because I'm a baby. Ah! She's after me! Can I hide in that? No. I'm looking for you, Mary. Why are you looking ah! for me? Oh! 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 I do plan on doing some spooky stuff over there this Halloween season, and I've got some vlogs in the works right now. So if you want to see another side of me or just hang out in a live stream while we play some games, I would definitely check out that channel as well. And that's honestly all I really have for this intro. I'm just excited to see what this movie is like. I don't have super crazy high expectations for it. I'm kind of imagining it's gonna be like good and fun and have some maybe good jump scares, but maybe be a little campier over the top. And I'm kind of expecting all of the camp counselors to be dumb and make dumb decisions so that they die. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if every single one of them dies. Like, I feel like one should survive because that's like the classic thing. There's always like the one girl who makes it through the movie somehow against all odds and she barely survives, but all of her friends die, of course, especially the men, you know, the men never make it out. And most of the women don't either. There's usually just the one. So maybe that will happen or maybe they'll all die. I don't know. But either way, I'm definitely in the spooky mood this season, I feel like I've been more ready for Halloween this year and more ready for like the fun, campy horror and just really in the spooky vibes this time of year. I don't know, that doesn't always hit me every single year. I'm not always about Halloween and always, like even last year, I don't really think I got that into spooky season, but this year I'm just really feeling it. I'm just ready to have a good time. So without any further ado, that is all I have for you. So if you are ready, grab a drink. 
grab a snack, and let's get into Friday the 13th. There's no way he's already here, huh? Is it like Halloween where we start from the perspective of the killer? Yeah, these are these are the kids. Oh! I forgot about the sound! Tyler does this to scare me! Man, I used to think Tyler, my husband, was a really original guy, and like the more movies I've watched, I've realized he just quotes movies and he's not that original. <laughs> Okay, so what I was saying before was, wow, they're so wholesome. Like the songs they're singing are much more wholesome than I would have imagined. I would have thought that these are debaucherous camp counselors if they need to die. Like, it seems like they're singing religious, cute, sweet music. Somebody will see. Oh, somebody's gonna see, but it's not a friend. Hey, you gotta leave room for Jesus! I do. How would I? Oh, you. Oh, he kissed Marianne too? What a player. Well, camp fling, huh? We weren't doing anything, we were just messing up. Oh my God, he worked so fast. Oh girl, it's over. Maybe this guy doesn't work with a chainsaw. He just looked, it looked like he just stabbed him. Oh my God, we freeze framed on her, oh no. Is it time for the title card? Yeah. Oh my God, so old school. Friday, June 13th, the present. That was 1958. So he doesn't just wait around for Friday the 13th in October. He'll, any Friday the 13th will do, huh? Well, actually, I guess if it's a summer camp, it has to be in the summer. Uh, excuse me, how far is Camp Crystal Lake from here? Oh, they're all looking at her like she's crazy. Like, you don't wanna go there. My name's Annie. All right, Annie, let's go. Oh, Annie, I hope you survive. You're really cute. All the girls up there gonna look as good as you? Oh, ew, ew. You good at camp blood, ain't you? God damn it, Ralph, get out of here. Go on, get. You'll never come back again. Oh, shut up, Ralph. It's got a death curse. <laughs> oh my God. He's a real prophet of doom, ain't he? Well, uh, he's, maybe we should listen to him. He's, I think he's probably right. Did that guy just touch his, her ass? Like, I know he's helping her, but Jesus Christ. I don't know, Ralph is kooky, but I think I trust him more than Enos. Oh my God, look at the way he's biking. <laughs> Even the way he bikes away is so like weird. I think she'll be fine, she's spunky, but. Oh, does she have to walk through a cemetery to get to the camp? That's hilarious. Oh no, it's across from the cemetery, okay. Oh, we're in Hope, New Jersey, okay. Man, that explains a lot. New Jersey's cursed already. <laughs> Do your best, all right? I'll be back sometime after lunch. It's a rain like hell, so get as much done as possible. I don't want to get too far behind. Oh, he's leaving. So he's leaving. He ain't gonna come back before the murders happen. I'm calling it. He gonna be gone a while. Oh my God, she's so happy-go-lucky and like bouncy. Hi. I'm going to Camp Crystal Lake. Guys drives really fast. Are we even gonna see who's driving her? Why do I feel like it's the murderer? But when you've had a dream as long as I have, you'll do anything. Uh-huh, you have a dream? Maybe she will die. She has a dream. She might die first. Maybe she's too naive, I don't know. That was it, that was the turn. Yeah, Annie. Hey, wasn't that the road up? Yeah, you got, yeah, she's dying first, yep. Mm hmm She's too hopeful! She's too cute! Uh, I think we better stop. Uh, yeah, you're not in control, babe. Please? He's driving really fast. Did you buckle up? Is she gonna bail out? Oh, actually, she's doing all right, all things considered, but he's just gonna run her over now. Oh, is her leg broken? Oh, it's over for you, babe. It's over for you. Wow, are any of the camp counselors gonna survive? Are they all gonna die? I knew that was gonna happen and it still spooked me. Are we gonna see him or not yet? Ew! Ew! Oh my god, that's so funny. They just flash to white. All right, well, we don't have a cook now. It's a big ass snake. I'll flush it out. Ah! Ah! 
God, this poor f snake. These guys are morons. Okay, yeah. Oh my God. No animals were harmed in the making of this movie, huh? Well, at least we know what's for dinner. Oh. Oh. oh! Wow, that was not necessary. Y'all could have just relocated the snake. It probably wasn't even poisonous. You all deserve to die. <laughs> They're so these kids are so dumb. <laughs> Embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> Oh my god, I would not want this on my acting reel. Now I got word that Ralph was peddling out this way, spouting his gospel. Every time that loony gets drunk, he gets his call in. I end up spending the morning in court and he gets a week in jail. Ralph has to be the red herring, right? Like, he can't be the real killer, huh? It's too obvious. You kids keep your nose clean, you understand? You'll be hearing from me if you don't. We ain't gonna stand for no weirdness out here. No weirdness out here. Oh, okay. Well, I am gonna rest easy tonight knowing these are the uh, fine folks in law enforcement keeping an eye on the area for me. Oh my God, even the police are cringy. <laughs> I bet Steve Christie left because he knows the killers. Like. <laughs> Hi, Ralph. I'm the messenger of God. Okay. You're doomed if you stay here. He's right. You're doomed if you stay. Go. He is right. He's right. He's weird, but he's right. Oh my God, even the way he moves is so... Why does he move like that? <laughs> I think we just met Ralph. God, what's next? You guys should go. You should leave. But then the movie would be over, so don't worry. You should stay, and then you'll die. Being watched. I wonder what we're gonna finally see Jason, because so far it's just been a lot of like, oh, oh no, he, he's watching him. But he likes her too. Was that Jason? Hello? Oh, Ned. Can I help you? Ned. Oh, you dummy. It's gonna storm. <laughs> Oh, goody. Tear down that valley like a son of a gun. Mm-hmm, and then the power will go out. Yay. Oh, is there... No way. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hurry back, okay? Oh, God. Who's gonna die next? Is it her first or him first? Oh yeah. Oh, they got. She got to leave the cabin. Oh, she gonna die first. That's that's my guess. Wait, is blood gonna start dripping on him? Cause he's in a bunk bed. Please tell me blood starts dripping on him. That'd be so crazy. Like on the pillow. Come on. <gasps> yes, it's like her dream. Right. <laughs> I gotta relax my shoulders. I'm all tense. Oh, babe, it's over for you. Jack? Uh uh. It's not Jack, honey. Come on, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so cheesy the way she like ponders whether or not to go look. This movie is definitely filled with a lot of campy, like, oh no, don't go in there, uh-uh. Oh, is he gonna be behind a curtain? A shadow. Oh, we cut away, oh! No, we did it. just kidding! We couldn't show it happening. We just had to show the post aftermath because of uh, props and practical effects. Wow, they're dying quick, man. He's knocking them off pretty quick. <laughs> well, what can I say? That's not much, but I call it home. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh. oh, something has to intervene just in time so she doesn't take her shirt off. I see how it is. 
Oh, I think I left the windows in my cabin open. Oh no, is she gonna go while she's naked? Okay, she next, all right. I've got six new counselors up at camp. They are babes in the woods in every sense of the word. I don't know why there's a part of me that's, I can't, it shouldn't be sus of Steve, but there's a part of me that's sus of him. Cause like that Jeep, like Annie died with a Jeep like that and he left in a Jeep, but his Jeep didn't have a top on it. And also that jacket looks exactly like the one that what's her name was wearing. But then did he go to a diner immediately? Like I, is Steve the murderer? I thought Jason was the name of the guy, but I'm like weirdly sus of him, but maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe he's gonna die. I don't even know. Yeah, it's definitely not him. Nah. Oh, she came here. Oh, girl. <gasps> oh my God. I literally thought her reflection in the mirror was the guy. That scared me. Oh God. Don't go open the curtain, babe, because you're just gonna see your friend with an ax in her head. Just go back to your cabin and get murdered there. Oh no, he's having car troubles now. He ain't gonna make it back to the camp. All right. Well, it's good that we're bringing an officer, although I don't know how useful he's gonna be. Man, maybe, maybe that one girl will survive just because the cop is coming. What? What? What is he doing? Why does it sound like there's a boy out there yelling for help? Someone's yelling for help? Who's yelling for help? Uh, this poor thing is gonna get murdered because she's kind and wants to help somebody yelling for help. She's literally just an advertisement for the bystander effect. Like she's really being heroic and brave, but she's gonna get murdered for it. Is, is Jason the one doing like a little kid voice? Oh no, is he gonna shoot her with a bow and arrow? No way. Is that how she's gonna die? Dude, the music is scaring me. We just cut away. We cut away. I bet, I bet he shot her with arrows. I bet that's what he did. Oh my God. So he was just mimicking a little kid's voice? Like he's able to do that? I'm gonna check it out. Oh, Bill. Can I come? Come on in. Yeah, honestly, you should stick together. Your odds are better if you stick together. I mean, you're probably both f***ed anyway, but at least one of you might survive if you go together. The murderer left the ax there. What is going on? <laughs> That's her reaction. Come on. Baby, bring it with you. Bring the ax with you. Nope, they didn't do that. Okay. Where are they? Oh God, are they not in their beds anymore? Don't look. They're not in the beds. So he moved the bodies, huh? Oh. It's dead. Try to pay for it. Oh no. The phone line's been cut. I like this whole like perspective from the, oh, there it is right there. Snip, 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 snip. I was gonna say, I like this whole perspective of watching them from outside the window, cause it gives you the feeling like you're in the murderer's perspective, but then it was also to show us that the phone line was cut. But I like that, the way they slowly transitioned to it. It was well done. Your old Ralph was out your way today. His wife was a nervous wreck till we got him home. He has a wife? Good for Ralph. This is Tierney. Rescue squad with jaws of life. Near mile marker 17, possible fatal. So that sounds like a big deal, officer, but not as, um, you know, okay. It's really unfortunate. You really should go to the Camp Crystal Lake first, but. Let you on here, Steve. Oh no, Steve, you gotta, you gotta walk. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, officer. Goodbye. <laughs> there goes your last hope. <laughs> wow, that's a cool, Creepy little reveal. I like that. That was so unexpected. Hello? No! Oh, hi. What are you doing out in this mess? Bye, Steve. He said, oh, hi. So he knows the guy. Oh, hi, what are you doing out in this mess? So he knows the person, right? Presumably, because he said, oh, hi, like he knew them. He's gonna cut the generator now, huh? 
There you go. Man, I am actually shocked that we've gone this entire movie without seeing what the killer looks like. Because I have this image in my head of Jason wearing like this hockey mask, I think it is or something. And we haven't even heard the guy's name yet. Like we, we I had no idea we weren't gonna see him this whole time. I'm actually shocked. Oh my God, the way the camera, the camera choreography is, is pretty smart too, because we shift so much between the murderer's perspective and more of like a third person perspective. Jesus Christ, lady, he's scaring me. Maybe she is next, I don't even know. Maybe she's dying next, what the f So it's genius because a lot of times like the camera will be behind somebody and you, you almost think that you're in the murderer's perspective again. And when it's getting closer and closer and closer and they turn around, you like expect them to be like scared of something. And then it's like, oh, that was just a camera movement. It wasn't the murderer's perspective that time. So it's very trippy, I like it. Oh my God, even that was scary. Holy sh that was scary. <laughs> Honey, you are just advertising where you're located to the murderer. Oh, his coat. He's gone. So when she snapped awake, I bet he was being killed. Oh, he's a fan of archery. I see now. Are we gonna see, is she gonna find everybody's bodies? Please. Oh babe, the nightmare is just beginning. You should have kept the ax. Don't worry about locking it. Maybe he's in here with you. Ma'am, you are barricading that door so thoroughly and you haven't even done a sweep of the house to see if anyone's here. Like you have no idea. She's literally exploring the house now that she's barricaded the door. She's like, oh, I should check now and make sure nobody's here. He's here. He's already here. He's already here. No, babe, he's here. Don't sigh. That's the worst thing you could do is sigh. He threw her friend's dead body through the window. He's like, I don't give a about your door being barricaded, I'll use the window. Oh my God, this is such a painfully slow process. Get out. What is this reaction? Oh. No way. Uh uh, it's not Steve. It's not Steve. Well, I, I'm Mrs. Voorhees, an old friend of the Christie's. I'll go look. No, no, please don't leave me. They'll kill you too. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Why? Why is she not afraid? Is it over? Is she like, oh, don't worry. She knows something. What? Did you know that a young boy drowned the year before those two others were killed? The counselors weren't paying any attention. They were making love while that young boy drowned. Oh. Oh. His name was Jason. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That's why this place is cursed. I don't understand. What is up with Mrs. Oh, it was her son. Jason was my son. And today is his birthday. Oh. Oh, I couldn't let them open this place again. Could I? Dude, at this point, I would just be like, of course, ma'am, you know what? You've been through so much. You were absolutely right to kill all those counselors. They deserved it. I actually, I never would have let your son drown, ever. Um, I'm so sorry. How, how can we make this up to you? You know, I would just be like leaning into it. Like maybe if I agree with her, maybe she wouldn't kill me. Look what you did to him. <laughs> yeah, my back. Hell yeah! Wait, so it was her the whole time? She doesn't even have a speck of blood on her. Why do I feel like there's another person around? Was it just her? <laughs> Annie! Hey, babe! Honestly, you would have been better off just driving the car with her in it, girl. Like, just suck it up. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. She's laid creepy little booby traps of dead bodies everywhere. My God. Oh my God, the way she slammed the door shut was so fun and menacing. I loved it so angrily. Ooh, I love this twist. Kill her, mommy. Kill her. Oh my God, she cray cray. Don't let her live. I won't, Jason. 
I won't. That's so nice for her. She's kept her son's memory alive. All, all in here. All these years. <laughs> She's got a vivid imagination, this one. Come, dear. It'll be easier for you than it was for Jason. It's not her fault that your son died, ma'am. Ew, here, ew. Oh, so she was imitating her son's voice. Ah! Ma'am, you, you really should have been looking for another weapon. <laughs> You're just throwing random objects, ma'am. Oh, babe, I think it's over. Yeah, it's over. Oh, she's smacking her! <laughs> she's smacking her! What was, what did she just do to her? What the f***? What is happening? What the f***? Oh my god. <laughs> she learned Taekwondo or something? Doesn't Mrs. Voorhees have a knife? What are you doing? Slapping her like that. <laughs> you dummy. Yep, look for something to defend yourself, which you should have done already. Oh, okay, a frying pan. That's decent. That's decent option. I knew she was gonna break it down. Ooh! Wow. Honestly, Mrs. Voorhees has horrible aim. She really only benefits with the element of surprise. Hit her harder, babe. Oh, okay. Well, you hurt her, but I don't think she's dead. You need to like, you need to make sure she's dead at this point. Come on. <laughs> she's not going to. She's not going to grab her knife either. She's just going to go sit here and stare out at the lake. Like, girl, are you sure she's dead? She's acting so weird. You dumbass. This girl's so dumb. My God, I'm over it. This girl really doesn't deserve to live, quite frankly. Oh my God. Oh my God, this is awful. Both of you should die, you're annoying. Honestly, maybe I'm rooting for Voorhees now at this point. She's more interesting. Oh my God. She looks like she's having a great time, honestly. She looks like she's having fun. Oh, slow motion. Oh no, yeah, she's got the knife now, wow. Ah, what the f <laughs> She's decapitated her like that. Where are you going, babe? So her whole plan was just, I'm gonna go out on the lake where no one can get me. Like just wait out here until somebody comes and checks on us. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it's like a 10 mile hike, or what, why not? <laughs> what the f no! No! Oh, it was a nightmare. That makes sense. Okay, Jesus Christ. That jump scare was insane. The boy. Is he dead too? Who? The boy, Jason. The one who attacked me. The one who pulled me underneath the water. Ma'am, we didn't find any boy. Uh-huh. Oh, so that wasn't a dream that, like, happened to her in her mind? Then he's still there. Oh, okay, ma'am, okay. What? <laughs> Why are we getting this, like, sentimental kind of, like, upbeat music? There's a little air bubbles, huh? He just lives in the lake. You ain't gonna get me again. Uh-uh. This was a whack movie. Like, what the heck? Man, this movie was super campy. <laughs> super, well, I guess that's kind of fitting because we were at camp. So, 10 out of 10. <laughs> all in all though, this movie was a lot of fun. Definitely really campy and really over the top and stylized, especially with a lot of these slow motion, freeze frame kind of shots of like realization, like, oh no, she's gonna kill me now. This is so crazy. And like certain death scenes, like the decapitation scene was just so silly and hammy. But like in terms of jump scares, there were a lot of really fun jump scares. Like I actually did really enjoy the surprising elements and the jump scares that did happen. Like I, I definitely got got <laughs> a couple times and it definitely felt like one of those movies where you're kind of rooting for everybody to die like I didn't necessarily feel like Alice was the protagonist like I didn't really feel like there was a protagonist honestly in this movie like I kind of didn't really care about 
anybody surviving. If anything, I was more interested in learning more about the villain than I was about anyone else. It makes sense now why Steve wasn't taken aback by who he saw in the woods when he was killed and how he knew her. I do wish that we'd maybe seen Mrs. Voorhees earlier on in the movie as like somebody who was helping Steve get the camp set up because then it would have maybe been a fun twist at the end, but instead we never met her. So it just didn't really register as like her. Wow. So crazy. Like it didn't really register as a twist at all. It was just kind of like, oh, okay. This sweet appearing old lady is actually the murderer. And oh, she was Jason's mother. Like, I think it would have been more of a surprise if we'd met her earlier on in the film. It's interesting though. Cause like I was sus of Steve because that Jeep that Annie got into when she was hitchhiking and when when she got killed, it looked like the same Jeep. And it makes sense because clearly Mrs. Voorhees just borrowed Steve's Jeep. And so that's why it was like the same car or at least appeared to be the same car. Definitely a lot of cheesy moments, a lot of over the top hammy acting or things that just didn't really quite make sense. Especially some of the behaviors from like Alice towards the end of the movie were just so like, why is this happening? Why <laughs> She really thinks that she killed Mrs. Voorhees from just hitting her in the head with a frying pan once. So she's just gonna go stare out at the lake. Why? Like she's not even gonna try to get away from here. She's just gonna go stare out at the lake. And then she finally does kill Mrs. Voorhees. So she's just gonna go linger out on a boat on the middle of the lake, which also doesn't really make sense. Like so much of the actions of certain characters was just so campy and weird and um, out of place, but it was also funny to watch and really fun. A lot of the deaths were really satisfying or some of the jump scares that occurred, I really didn't see coming. And so they really caught me off guard and they were fun, especially like, I think it was Kevin Bacon's character, like his death being stabbed through the bed. That particularly was so jarring and so unexpected. And I really did enjoy it. It was, it was a fun little jump scare. Cause all I was thinking about was, oh, blood's gonna drip on his head from above the bed. And I wasn't even thinking about the fact that like Jason or Mrs. Voorhees I guess, could be under the bed. Also, another thing that hadn't occurred to me was like, I've heard so many times, Jason is the murderer, Jason is the murderer. And really, I really did not listen to what the killer in Scream was saying. Like I literally tuned out what he was saying about Friday the 13th because I didn't want a spoiler. And I went, la, 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 la. Like I did not listen. So I don't know if he actually said in the movie in Scream that it was Jason's mother. I'm really glad I didn't listen to whatever he said because I did not see that coming. I kept expecting it to be this man and I also kept expecting him to be like wearing a hockey mask. Also, I did go downstairs before filming this outro to talk to Tyler and he told me that, uh, yeah, Jason never has a chainsaw. That's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre guy, Leatherface. So I've just been waiting for a chainsaw in both of these movies, like in Halloween and this movie and neither of these characters use chainsaws. So that was, that was on me. Um, now I know. And maybe I need to watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre at some point just to see a guy with a chainsaw because I keep <laughs> expecting it to happen. Not that I really want to see people get killed with a chainsaw. It doesn't really sound pleasant, but at this point, I, I feel like I've just been waiting for it. So maybe I need to. The sound design was really fun. The music was great, really scary. I do think this movie, albeit campy and over the top and cheesy was still really scary in moments and really suspenseful and fun. So I really feel like it fits the Halloween aesthetic really well because it's not the kind of movie where I'm gonna be like scared going to sleep tonight or anything like that. It, it's not necessarily like a masterful horror film, but it's fun and I got some good screams in and there was like an adrenaline rush in certain moments and you know, you were kind of rooting for the killer because <laughs> it was more interesting, I think. And a lot of the characters were so dumb. I was like, yeah, whatever, they can die, like it's fine. So so it was kind of just fun, a good ride, you know? I also really enjoyed, like earlier on in the film, I kept wanting to get the backstory on the character Jason, because I thought we were gonna get like a spooky camp story of what happened to Jason and why he haunts the camp, you know? But we didn't get it until the very end, and that payoff was more satisfying. From that perspective, it was more satisfying. I think if we'd met Mrs. Voorhees as a character in the beginning of the movie and knew that she was helping Mr. Christie with the camp, and then also got that backstory the same way with her delivering it in the end of the film to Alice. I think that would have been the most satisfying option. Just because we hadn't met her, I, I think it could have been a little bit more satisfying um, with maybe having that slight breadcrumb dropped in the beginning of the film. I like the fact that the backstory for Jason and who he was as a camp kid drowning in the lake wasn't revealed till the end. I think that that was great.
great. I just wish we'd had a breadcrumb of like information, just just meeting Mrs. Voorhees just once, like as a very innocent, unassuming character. I think that would have tied everything together in a perfect bubble. Cause like I wasn't really ever sus of Ralph. I was never really sus of him, you know? Like he's kooky, but he was the only one speaking truths. Like I knew he was right. So I wasn't ever really sus of him. And I, I wasn't really that sus of Mr. Christie. Like I jokingly hinted at it a couple times, but I knew it didn't really make sense and that he couldn't really be the killer. So I think it would have been fun to maybe like have met who the killer actually was just so that you get that satisfaction of that twist and it hits you more in the end. But all in all, she was a fun one to watch. I think she did a great job in her performance, really great job of like <laughs> personifying uh, her dead son and having that duality of, of conversation between herself and her dead son um, in her head while she's <laughs> performing these killings. Like I really enjoyed that. She was very creepy and I, I liked it a lot. But yeah, just in the end, a lot of the action was just so dumb and silly. And I mean, just the, <laughs> the slapping. <laughs> It was so silly and weird. I loved it, but it was just like weird as <laughs> Anyway, this was a fun one. Uh, I'm glad I've seen it. Don't think I would watch any of the other Friday the 13th movies, if I'm being honest, because like I can't imagine that they get less campy than this. And I feel like this is probably my limit of camp that I can handle. And even then, some of the stuff at the end was just weird. Like the whole lake thing was weird and the, the fight fighting at the end was weird. So. I wouldn't necessarily want to dive into more stuff like this, but I did have a fun time watching it and enjoying it for what it was. But that is all I have for you guys in this video. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up so that I know. And of course, let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments down below as well. Until the next one, stay golden and stay spooky. Bye.